All right, we change gears now and we focus on some of the major achievers as far as SA cricket is concerned. And in fact, let me just say SA sport as a whole and generally, and that is why on the Magic Couch right now here on Thursday Night Live, we've got the might. I mean, he doesn't like me calling him king, but then, hey, he's got no right, he's got no say. King Rabad is here. I'm going to find a name for him, Tizman, but we're going to get to him in a moment. Kaki Rabad, good to see you. Yes, nice to be back for the it's second been how time. Long? Be in a year, I a think. Year, yeah. yeah, one year, so it's good to be back. It's changed a bit the setup, but it's good. You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's Better than fits. last time? It's efficient. <laughs> it's efficient. <laughs> as efficient as your bowling or just generally efficient? No, way more efficient than my bowling. Oh, come, come on. on. You, you're being <laughs> so nice to us, eh? Yeah. How's this week been for you? There's been a lot, a lot of hype. Um, something I've never had to deal with before in my life. But I have to deal with it. I have to find a way to deal with it, I think. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's, it's like sudden, though. I mean, it, it, it twists like this. And you know who's guilty of all the hype happening? You know who's that? Yeah, I actually say my... Is it my dad? Who is it? <laughs> it's you. It's me. It's you. Oh, no. You're the one that... You are the only person... <laughs> I mean, if you're oh, not breaking records, if you're not bowling as well as you were, if you were not making the English feel like, you know, sure. hopefully they didn't wake up that morning, we, the hype wouldn't have been there. Yeah, well, I always say that there is a hype there, but I've always wanted to do this. So I knew it would sort of be like this if I did well. Uh, but now experiencing it is a different thing. But this is what I've always wanted to do, yeah. so I have to embrace it. What would be the one moment... In the week, maybe let me say in the fortnight, that has meant the most for you, being out there, on the crease, doing what you do best. What has been that one magical moment? I know that there have been many, but if there's one that you had to zero in on, which one did that be? This, this past week. Just this past week. Uh, I would say probably winning the, the, the test match. I think we, we've been losing, coming from India, and then also losing to the English home yeah. series. I think when we got that final wicket, there was a lot of relief, sitting in the change room, celebrating. And then you're going to grab the stump? Yeah. yeah. You've uh, got I got the no stump. No one's taken away from you. Yeah. <laughs> it's at home, though. Yeah. My father took it away from me. I was surprised to see him there. Uh, but it's at home. It's, it's, it's in good nick. Oh. Supersport Park, I mean, they kept talking about it as being, well, the English, a lot of the players have never played there, it's a new age squad, etc. But you know what, it, it worked for you, never mind what and how it felt for them. It was about you as a pro tier player going out there. Was it as friendly a wicket as everybody says it was? I think it was a, it was a good test wicket. Yeah. Um, it had something in it for the bowlers and also something in it for the batters. We've got batsmen that scored hundreds on there. Tamba scored a 70, uh, 70 or, or 80 on that wicket. So I don't think it was unplayable. Um, I think we just played the better cricket. South Africa played the better cricket. I mean, better cricket all round. And sure, I mean, the fierceness of your deliveries. That, you know, you, you kind of feel for the guy who's batting. It's almost like, yo, what have you come across now? What have you come across? In fact, on Twitter, they're saying that... Uh, Gachi uh, is the Lionel Messi of football, <laughs> of cricket. cricket yeah. And I think that's something that's been quite interesting. I think we've seen these two gentlemen this week, of course, <coughs> come out being so sensational. Like Gachi said, it's been a bit disappointing here and there. But you have these two amazing stories. And I think one thing that stood out for me, very, very special, is that these gentlemen are supported by even stronger gentlemen, which are their fathers, which is something that's very very inspirational for south african people it's, it's really great to see your dad there supporting you all through the way we need that i couldn't believe i mean he looked young how old is your dad 46. so he is a young man yeah but he's enthusiastic how do you feel with him being out there? It's almost like lewis hamilton knowing his dad is out there screaming and shouting the 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 williams sisters you know dad was always there supporting how much does that mean to you it means a lot he is my father um Actually, both my parents, I can't discredit my mother. My yeah. mother's always been there for me. I love both of them so much, and my little brother as well, my whole family. Sometimes I don't even know that they're watching a game. Oh. 
and then I just see them on TV. It's nice. But I always give my father flag. It's like he's more famous than me. Tell him to calm down a bit. No, it's a, it's a, it's a Chad Letlo type of thing <laughs> where dad becomes more famous yeah. than the actual athlete. Now, um, is mine. Temba, Pavo. It's good to see you, man. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. It's Tato as well. It's my ah, first time here. Nervous, he said. First You're time on the nervous. magic couch. Yeah, Who's making you time. nervous, the couch or her? The couch. I think, I think it's everyone, everyone here, all the eyes watching. <laughs> I'm not used to all of this. Come on, there are fewer people here than there are, you know, you know at the Wanderers. It's than different they are. here, they're huh? so close, you know. They, it's almost as if you can hear what they're thinking. It's a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll ask you the same question because I, I think the, the past, like, let's say fortnight has been so magical for both of you in so many different ways. And you guys have touched the lives of so many different South Africans and others who might not be massive cricket supporters. I just want your personal thought of your journey and how you felt in the past, let's say, 14 days. Yeah, life has been, has changed. I mean, it has been a bit different. Um, like Ahiso said, you know, I mean, there's a lot more attention. There's a lot more talk, you know, um, within, the, within the media, within, you know, within your own circles. You know, I mean, a lot more people are looking at you, you know, and with all of that, you know, there's a greater sense of expectation. You know, people have seen us, you know, achieve, you know, the little um, feats that we've done. And it's as if, you know, they, well, not as if, but they expect these kind of achievements, you know, day in, day out. So there's a lot of, you know, attention and expectation. Sure. And, I mean, I always remember the, the visuals, you, the bat, and the celebration. It, it all must have just happened. Uh, I don't think you really thought, what, what, okay, I'm going to get to 100, and then how am I going to celebrate? Mm. I mean, talk me through that. Uh, that's, that's like a, a magical moment for any cricketer but especially given the fact that from a stats perspective, I was looking at it earlier on today, becoming the very first South African to score a century for the Proteas when you scored that 102 not out against England during the first innings of the drawn test in December. Yeah, if, uh, if I think back at the celebration, you know, it was, it was very spontaneous. Um, yeah. You know, it was very emotional, you know, on my side. You know, there was a lot of relief. There was a lot of um, satisfaction. Um, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself, you know, to perform. You know, the previous game I hadn't performed, you know, I let the team down. So I really wanted to, you know, positively contribute to the, to the, to the team's cause. You know, and I was fortunate, I was lucky that, you know, um, that happened there at Newlands. And I think all that emotion, you know, all that bottled up, bottled up emotion came out, you know, out there in Newlands. I think as well, you know, what made it um, extra special for me is seeing my parents there, you know, um, they're not people that always come and watch watch my games, but just seeing them there, you know, made it extra extra special and sweet. And I mean, somebody that played like street cricket before, and and to see, I mean, I'm looking at those strokes that you're taking. You vary your game quite a lot. It's not just like a, a readable game. You make whoever's fielding actually work, and then nobody is out there. You go for a boundary again. Just how important is it for you and how does it make you feel knowing that you are there amongst the top pros? I mean, you were talking about this moment. They had the high fives. I mean, familiar faces up there in the grandstand. Makayantini being there. I mean, Rabat has been responsible now for reaching his uh, heights. Well, excuse the pun there. Uh, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all in the game. There's that stroke. And you knew then. Helmet, goodbye. Hey. Yeah, it was a special moment, something that um, I'll hold you know, close to my heart. It's probably as big as me making my debut, debut for South Africa. You know, um, the memories will never leave me. You know, I'll always, I'll always look back to them, you know, when, when times are tough. And yeah, it'll always be something that, um, that I'll cherish, you know, in my, in my career. And, I mean, I know a lot of people would, would, would joke and say, hey, you know, shorty and everything like that. I even felt sorry at some point because you were, you were taking a few to the fingers there with, you know, mm. when the ball, balls were coming through. There's an advantage and a disadvantage to everything. Yeah. But that's painful. Yeah, um, you know, I heard you asked um, Kakisa about the wicket in Centurion and yeah. he said it was a good wicket. What I've kind of seen is that bowlers, you know, the wicket is always good. It's never a bowler-friendly wicket. <laughs> Us batters are always, you know, always favoring the batters. But yeah, on that wicket, especially the second innings, um, the wicket um, deteriorated quite a lot and the bounce became invariable. Yeah. And obviously with my stature, that became a much more of a, of a challenge, you know, compared to the other guys. And you had to take, um, take a couple of blows, 
you know, you had to grind it out there. You know, and yeah, it's just, I guess it's one of those pictures, one of those times where, you know, it's not about looking good, but just about trying to find a way to, to succeed for the team. Hmm. Quickly though, Babrabad, I was looking at the rankings and you've kind of climbed about 92 places. You were 122 before you started playing against England. What does that jump mean to you? I mean, it's, it's the first time I get to interact with you since those figures were released. I wasn't looking too much into that. <clears throat> um, I found out about it. I was like, okay, that is <laughs> not bad. <laughs> but, not bad? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but obviously, it's been a dream for me to be one of the best. Yeah. But I honestly wasn't focusing on that now. Um, it's great. It's, it's an achievement. Uh, I'm moving forward. So it's not going to change a hell of a lot, but hopefully one day I can be number one. I don't know. <laughs> but that's a, that's a jump. I mean, Moeng, <laughs> like on any day, and, and you're listening to him, it's like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. 92 places I climb up, you know, I'm 122, I'm 30th now in the world. <laughs> People go through years to get there. He's, he does it he's now. He's making it seem like he's playing marbles. <laughs> You're playing the ghetto. This is a huge fate. And I actually like the way that uh, the two gentlemen are sitting yeah. here today. I actually want to ask them, are you able to go to, not even a shopping mall, just a tuck shop at the corner without the girls going, hey, KG, hey, Timber. <laughs> No, I haven't experienced that. Ah. Yeah. No, I've been seeing you going wild on social media. There's social no way. Uh, KG's uh, not telling the truth there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't. I like Tamba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've He's got the truth. the truth. You are our <laughs> truth officer today. Tell me what's going on. My mother's watching. I can't say anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mommy must get used to this now. Right? Mommy must get used to the fact that, you know, I will see Sylvia like, hey, what's up? Hey, KG. What's up, KG? I, I think you said much better. I can't even get there. It's happening right now, isn't it, Tamba? No, it's things we, we have to deal with. Mm, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot more attention. Yeah, it's those things that we just have to have to deal with. You deal with it well. I'd like to think so, yes, Rob. But deal he's with almost it very married, well. so he's fine. Oh, okay. I don't know what he's saying. When are you getting married? <laughs> no, it's, it's it's far, 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 far away. I think we're here to speak about cricket. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one talking about girls. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> he, he kind of puts you in the corner there. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen you blush like that. We were like, hey, hey. Uh, we're here to talk about cricket.